Matthew Secchi here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. Uh, this past week, we had a total of 175 salvations, so a pretty solid week of uh, soul winning. Uh, we had a lot of uh, activities, a lot of stuff going on this past week. We had our two-year anniversary in Pampanga, so we had a great time there. And I preached on, you know, how to dwell in God's house forever. So instead of being a motivational sermon, it was more of like a practical sermon of what we have to do to uh, dwell in God's house forever. And I'm, I'm going to be preaching the same sermon in Manila for our anniversary coming up in a couple weeks. So I didn't record this one, but uh, I'd encourage you to check it out if you get a chance once it is uploaded in a couple weeks when I preach it in Manila. And so in Manila, you know, usually I preach the same sermons in Pampanga and Manila. But um, I did differently this time. So I preached against a couple false religions in Manila. I preached against Islam. And uh, with Islam, it's kind of interesting because um, they kind of have a different mindset or a different philosophical idea about, uh, you know, kind of the core of the, the, the five pillars of Islam. And they basically teach that, you know, the works that you do are something that should be before man. You know, prayer is often made a public thing. Um, everybody knows when Ramadan is. And so it's the opposite of what the Bible says, because the Bible says, you know, you're not supposed to do your works to be seen of man. And the application is, you know, with uh, prayer, you know, go into your closet or go to a quiet place. If you're going to give almsgiving, you know, don't let your, you know, left hand and right hand, you know, uh, know about it, right? Don't let your... So it, it's like the Bible shows you very clearly you're not supposed to let people know about all your works. Or fasting, you know, if you go on a fast, that's great, but you don't tell anybody about it. But it's different in Islam. And you can see that with the five pillars. So you can check that sermon out if you want. I also preached against the Bible of the Hindus, the Bhagavad Gita. And I preached uh, the, the one from the translation of the Hare Krishna religion. So I kind of just specifically did that because of the fact we're preaching a different sermon in Pampanga, which is why I preached against those religions. But other than that, things are going great here. You know, we're getting a lot of salvations. And we're excited because they're loosening up some of the restrictions. Kids have not been allowed out in public for a super long time, but they started to slowly make it less strict and let them be at some parks. And But now they're actually letting them in some malls and some restaurants. There are restrictions if you don't have a vaccine at certain of them, but not at all of them. It is a little bit complicated. You don't always know um, how strict they're going to be. It kind of depends on which one. But we're cautiously optimistic that they're going to be opening up the Philippines and opening up society even more and more. And, uh, you know, I, I've been cautiously optimistic before, though, as it became less strict and it became strict again. But it seems like they're becoming less strict and it seems like they'll let more and more people be out and about, which um, we're excited about that. But overall, thing, overall, things are going really well here. And so just continue to be in prayer for our ministry. And right now, the gospel is just you know, basically has free course. You know, there's a lot of people out and about now. Uh, you know, there's definitely more traffic now, but, you know, it's definitely great for soul winning. More people out and about, more people we can talk to, we can go to parks. So soul winning is going great right now. But anyways, uh, thank you for your prayers, and thank you, and God bless.